Hi guys, it's Mama Fodi's Cooking House. Got another great recipe for you called Old Fashioned Goulash. It's a yummy, yummy big pot of everything that's great for you for a nice winter cold day to sit by the fire, if you have a fireplace, and have this scrumptious, like a it looks, it's almost like a chili, it's almost like a stew, it's a little bit of everything that you enjoy nice and hot. So I'm going to give you the recipe, I'm going to tell you all the stuff that you need first, okay? Um, so you'll have a list, so everybody get a pen and paper, sorry for the phone, I never know what's going to ring. Um, get a pen and paper ready, okay? I'm going to tell you all the ingredients. Um, I'm going to show you how to put it together because I put everything together. Everything's in my pot already because I wasn't going to be able to do the video and tell you all the ingredients and how to make it at the same time as doing the video. So I put everything together already. So I'm going to tell you the ingredients. I'm going to tell you how to do it. And then you're going to do it. And then you're going to taste it and love it. It's just um, awesome. Okay. So this is what you're going to need, guys. Okay. You ready? It's called Old Fashioned Goulash. You're going to need two pounds of ground beef or turkey. You're going to need three tablespoons of garlic. You're going to chop it up really, really fine. You're going to need one large onion. You're going to need two and a half cups of water. You're going to need a half a cup of beef broth. Then you're going to need a third cup of olive oil. Um, you're going to need um, 128 ounce can of tomato sauce. I always use the Tutorosa. That's my favorite one. Um, you're going to use a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes because you want it to be really chunky. Then you're going to need a tablespoon of Italian seasoning. Um, then you're going to need um, one tablespoon of adobo seasoning. I'm telling you this has everything in it. Three bay leaves. Then you're going to need uh, a teaspoon of seasoned salt. I didn't use that. I used regular salt because it already has enough of spice in it. And a half of a taste, a half of a teaspoon of, um, or a half of a tablespoon of pepper. Okay, so this is what you're going to do, guys. I already put mine together, and it's smelling really good. By the smell alone, uh, it's going to take awesome. This is the first time I'm making it too, so we're all going to be surprised. But somebody else had it. My girlfriend made it, and she said it was so good. You, it, and it lasts a couple days, so you have leftovers. So I'm at the point now where, where I mixed everything in the pot. So this is what you're going to do. In a large pot, okay, guys? You're going to saute the meat first, okay, until it's half done. When it's half done, you're going to add the garlic and the onion and the olive oil, okay, until it's fully cooked. After it's fully cooked, you're going to add the water, the broth, the tomato sauce, the diced tomatoes, the bay leaves, and salt and pepper, okay, and the adobo. You're going to mix it all together, and you're going to put it on a low heat and let it cook for 20 minutes, okay, covered. And you're going to stir in, you know, every couple of minutes to make sure everything is mixed together and not sticking, okay? And after that 20 minutes you stir, you're going to add the elbow macaroni. And that's what I'm going to do right now, okay? So I got my elbows. I have a lot of freaking noise going on here today. I'm telling you, the phone, the dog. But you're listening to me, Mama Forty, the cook, right? Listen to me. Don't listen to the other crap. Okay, so now you've got to put in two cups of elbow macaroni. Here I go. One, two. It's a little over, so what? Okay, mix it up. Mix it up. Put those elbows in there. Mix it up. So I'm at that point, okay? I wanted to show you guys, okay? So now, after you do the elbow macaronis, you mix it in, you're going to cover it again. You're going to cover it again. And now, they want you to cover it and simmer it for another 30 minutes. So we're going to let it um, cook and simmer for 30 minutes. 
you know, keep it, you know, stir it every couple of minutes, stir it until everything is cooked and combined and the, and the noodles are soft. After that's done, this is the best part, if you like cheese. After that's done, you are going to add cheddar cheese, okay? Let's see, how much cheddar cheese do we need? Do we say? Hmm. Yeah, we need a half a cup of cheddar cheese. So after this 30 minutes, we're going to add a half a cup of cheddar cheese. We're going to mix it all in, make it really cheesy. I'm probably going to add more cheese because I love cheese. Mix it up. <coughs> And mix it up make sure it's all put together and then right before you serve it guys you're gonna add a cup of mozzarella cheese and then you're gonna eat that shit and it's gonna taste very yummy and very delicious and you're gonna enjoy that okay because it should be so awesome my girlfriend said it is to die for it's gonna be yummy delicious on a cold night when you're just sitting down watch the TV bring that nice bowl of goulash and watching TV or sit by the fire like I said mm -mm -mm. very nice so that's another recipe from Mama Fody the cook I hope you enjoy it I hope you got all the directions down if not repeat the video and watch it again and enjoy and um, I'm gonna enjoy it too but remember put that cheese in oh and I forgot to tell you before you add the elbow macaroni Remove the bay leaves because you don't want to eat the bay leaves. Take those out. Okay, so enjoy this recipe uh, There's probably more to come because I love to do this and peace out Mama 40 loves you guys and I will talk to you very soon with Mama 40's recipes to you from me. Bye